G'day, my name is Gary. So today I want to talk about the idea of maths as a universal language. We watch a lot of uh, science fiction movies and read a lot of novels where our first contact with aliens is done through mathematics. It's almost as if maths is a universal language that all intelligent life in the universe could surely understand. But did you know that maths is so intrinsically human that it is entirely possible that nothing else in the universe could understand it? You are listening to the Creator Academy podcast. In the movie Contact, our first communication with aliens is done when uh, the alien starts sending us prime numbers. Now, prime numbers is uh, a concept of mathematics that is very, very important. Okay, it's uh, we need to understand the idea of counting, uh, the idea of factors, multiplication. Okay, uh, and then in Independence Day, uh, we decipher an alien code that it turns out to be a countdown timer to some sort of uh, attack. Uh, in the movie Arrival and Interstellar, all our uh, communications with aliens is done through mathematics. How universal is mathematics? In this podcast, we're going to talk about something called axioms. Uh, and an axiom is the foundation upon what our mathematics is based on. The very first axiom uh, of human mathematics is 1 plus 1 equals 2. Now, it doesn't matter how advanced you are in mathematics or uh, how you dig this uh, axiom apart, there's no way to prove it beyond what it is. Okay, 1 plus 1 equals 2 is an irrefutable proof. It is an axiom. Now, my daughter, when she was 7 years old, she tested me on this and she said, Dad, you're so good at maths, what is 1 plus 1? And I said 2. And she said, no, it's window. Okay, because of the way that she writes it, it turns out that one plus one equals window. And you'd think that, okay, that's just kids being silly or being wrong, but in actual fact, one plus one equals window is just as valid as one plus one equals two if the axioms were just slightly different. Now, I'd like you to think about why we use mathematics, okay? So mathematics is a tool, it is a construct that helps humans solve problems, okay? Uh, what kind of problems do humans have? Well, we need to be able to survive for long periods of time. So we need to be able to calculate how much food we have. So we're able to develop a base 10 number system because we've got 10 digits on our fingers. Uh, and then um, we're able to count uh, using this number system in order to help us organize these resources. What else do we like to solve? Uh, fighting is another part of a human culture, and mathematics is really helpful for that. And trading, okay? Uh, humans love, love making money, and we also want to know how much we are owing someone or someone is owing us. So that means that we need to understand uh, differences. We under, need to understand negative numbers and ratios. And in actual fact, there are a lot of axioms in human mathematics, okay? For uh, for example, there is an order of operations. That is, you have to multiply and divide before you add and subtract. And there's a very good reason why we have that. We have that because humans need equations to come out with one answer. And if we had not put the order of operations as an axiom, then it is entirely possible for an equation to be interpreted in multiple ways. And that is why we would have a very uh, unuseful set of mathematics. Another example of an axiom is dividing by zero. Okay, In mathematics, we have an axiom whereby we cannot divide by zero. But why do we have that? Well, it's for a very similar reason to why we have an order of operations. Okay, Imagine, for example, we had the number one and we divided by half. Okay, it comes out with two. If we divide it by a smaller number, we divide one by a quarter, we come out with four. Uh, we divide it by an even smaller number, one divided by 10 and equals 10. So the smaller you divide the number one by, the bigger the number that comes out at the end, right? So 
Logically speaking, we could have said that if one was divided by zero, then the answer would be infinity. Okay, and that's um, that's a logical step because the smaller the number that we're dividing by, the bigger the answer is going to be. Okay. What about two divided by zero? Well, then two divided by zero is going to be infinity as well. So if one divided by zero is infinity and two divided by zero is infinity, then all of a sudden we have one equals two, which is not very useful for us because we want um, our numbers to not equal another number. It's just not a very useful set of mathematics for us in that sense. So that is why we came up with this axiom, this axiom that we cannot divide by zero. And I put it to you that that is the reason why mathematics is so intrinsically human. And just because it is universal to human culture, it is entirely possible that if there were intelligent alien life forms out there, they would look at our maths and they would go, well, one plus one doesn't equal two, it equals window. Thanks for listening to our first podcast about axioms. And if you would like to know more, then please visit www.creatoracademy.com.au.